Hello, I'm Sarah James. I'm the Taza Thematic Group Portfolio Leader. And you will know Sally Daly, who's with me today to Hi. show you around the new website. So what we're going to do is just show you some of the key functionalities that will be useful for you as thematic group conveners. We're not going to show you everything, just sort of three or four most important, most useful tools uh, that we have on the new platform. So Sally, can you just start us off by showing us the login page? I sure can. This is the home page of the new website. Top right hand corner, member login. Click on that and that will take you straight to the login page. But as a thematic group convener, you also have this control panel up here. And um, if you click on that control panel, you have this section here that has several different tabs. I won't read them out. I just want to point out this one first though, the support tab. If you click on the support tab, there's all, there's manuals but the, down here there are video tutorials obviously clicking on them it opens up more um, and those videos are housed on YouTube so you can just go through and use all those different ones but as you can see they match the tabs on the control panel up here people website money this club one here we've renamed association because we're an association this first tab here communication communications has two modules in it so emailing and forums and this pencil here indicates an edit function and this one is a view function I they're the same on the different tabs I'll just show you pencil edit and view edit view so on this communication tab we have a module the emailing module and this is where you're going to be able to email your members directly from there. So the other thing that's really good about the new website is there's a forum function available for each thematic group. Could we have a little look at that? Yes, you can. The forum functions under several tabs, but I'm just gonna, it's all the same features. So if we just stick to the communication tab, we go to the forum. As I said earlier, you've got the pencil for edit and the eye for viewing or you can just click on forums. That will take you to the same place as if you've clicked on the pencil. With your control panel, the forums are here, but what you, when, you use, when you're a thematic group convener, you can go to forums and you will see your, the forums for you, that you're a convener of. So forum feature is under the communication tab, but all you need to do is to go up to here because the forums will already be set up for you. you click on forum. As a convener of the families and themat relationships thematic group, you can click here to go to that forum. I'll just show you, this is where the forum policy is under our forums policy. If you click on that, you will see TARS's policy. If you could please read that before commencing with forums, that would be great. So the conveners are set up to be the moderators of their forum and posts that members of the group submit won't go live until they've been approved by a convener. That's correct. Okay. And conveners will be notified by email that someone has posted. So they don't actually have to come in here and check. They'll just be notified that someone's posted to the forum. And this is just to ensure that all the posts are abiding by the, the code of conduct policy. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. So in terms of posting a message, just this icon here, start new thread, a box will pop up. We're putting in the subject. So I'm just gonna say uh, conference get together. And then you type whatever email, um, however you want to start your email and you put in, I'm just going to do this, you put in whatever information you want there. You can attach documents to the thread. Um, you can hyperlink, you can put up images, there's emojis there obviously. 
change the colour of the text, the font size, etc. And then you're just posting. You don't put in a subject, a pop-up box will appear and then you just put the subject in, post the message and then we see we have a new message here. Now, at, because I am logged in as a thematic group convener, I have admin rights so I can edit this message. So when you're notified that a message has been posted, you can go in, check the message, and then edit it if for some reason it needs editing. Um, we're not sort of talking about grammar here, are we, Sarah? It's more if there's something, I mean, the unlikely event that something inappropriate has been posted. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Sally, can we also have a look at the custom pages that will be set up for each group? Yes, we can. First of all, I'll take you to, because we're logged in as thematic families and relationships conveners, I'll take you to that, uh, those web pages. You may recall we asked for images. If you, it's not mandatory, but if you'd like your image on the website, that this is where it will go here. I can show you, for example, crime and governance here. Joel's image is there. So you can do that or not do that. Thematic group convener, you can edit your page. This on the right hand side, there's this edit icon. If you press that, you'll be able to edit your page. I'm just going to show you if you go to another conveners page, when you click here, there's no edit pencil. So if you are going to your thematic group page and there's no edit pencil, please contact me and I will check out what's going on there. So let's go to the families and thematic group web page, the edit function. At the top here, there's just some information there from the developer about what to do if you're wanting to change things on your page. There's lots of things that I could tell you in terms of how to edit these pages. Too much for this short video just for basic text, it's just a matter of clicking your um, cursor on there and adding text in wherever you're wanting to add your text. Again, if you click on this spanner up here, it will bring down a second row of different things, but you can change things within your page. And then obviously clicking save. I think in, if you're wanting to change the video that's attached to your group, at the moment this was a template, so this video um, will likely need changing, please contact me and I will send you specific instructions. It's too much to go into for the purpose of this video today. If you're using these side links here, the members of your group what you're doing is you, this is the member directory, which you can get to from here. It takes you there and then you use the drop down menu, click on family and relationships, and then you run the search. These are just test ones here. All your members will appear down here. Okay, so the last thing I think it would be good to look at, Sally, is the document library function because this is a space on the web where groups can store documents that they might want to keep say for future conveners maybe if there's a funding application they've done and they want to make it accessible to people in the future can we have a look at that sure okay i'll make it quick um i'll just share the screen again okay so we're still logged in as the uh, tg convener test we go over to um, website tab and down here we've got the document library click on the document library and click on thematic groups and only your only documents related to your thematic group will appear in this section of the document library you can view documents that are already in your folder. There aren't any there at the moment. You can add subgroup folders. So you can decide whether you want the document available to all users, members only download, members only, or administrators, which is yourself. See the file, you can del delete it, although really rather you didn't delete anything. Um, it's good 
just sort of save this information, I believe, Sarah, for future conveners to go back to. Yeah, it's just creating an archive of things that might be useful for the yeah. group. Yeah. If you get a really long list of documents and it's all a bit confusing, you can change the order that they're set there simply by selecting it and clicking the up arrow or the down arrow, or you can put it in alphabetical order there and then you would save. So that's pretty much the document library in a nutshell. Just quickly show you all that this one here, documents, will give you access as a member to other documents as well. But as conveners, go back to the control panel, document library, they're the documents for your thematic group. Okay. So that's really just a few of the basic functions. There's a lot more on there to have a look and a play with. So what should people do, Sally, if they have any questions? Okay, I think the best thing is to email me in the TASA office, which is admin at tasa.org.au, um, and take it from there. Yeah, great. Um, and we'll set people up. If they'd like a test login to play with before we go live, we can set up a, a test login for them to have a try. Yes, for sure. So if that's something they would like to do, um, again, get in contact with me. Okay. Yeah, so once the website's live late September, that's probably about the time that groups will be needing to email their members about organising new conveners for the following year. So it would be a good opportunity to use the new website and have your up-to-date mailing list sitting there for you and get in touch with your group to start the ball rolling for trying to find some new conveners. So thanks, Sally. Thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. Great. There's lots of great features on this new site. Um, I really hope the new site makes a massive difference for thematic group conveners. I realise most of you are stepping down from your roles. Um, but I, yeah, we're really hoping that this makes a massive difference to thematic group convener roles. Looks really good. Thank you. You're welcome.